perspective of the principles. Of Besides the asking tourism minister to revoke recent appointments in the tourism board, the tourism private sector claims that the appointments were not made in the spirit of tourism act, whose date of commencement has not yet been gazetted since it was ascended to by the head of state last year in September. To the best of our knowledge, there was no valid reason for the change of the board appointments as the boards as previously constituted were carrying out their mandate. It would be interesting to find out, for example, why the allocation to another state corporation, not even individual, not even private sector, state corporation, Kenya Wildlife Services, was revoked and the position allocated to an individual. There is a provision for at least two persons to be nominated by the Registered Tourism Association of which Kenya Tourism Federation is the umbrella. This is important for tourism as it is a very sensitive sector and it is utmost important to have the voice of the stakeholders represented by someone who is mandated to represent a number of stakeholders. The sector also termed as disaster the VAT bill, saying that if passed into law, it will kill tourism as well as the national economy. The provision of exemption for the tour operators has been removed. The provision for exemption for hoteliers has been removed. And this means that, one, if the two operators do not bring in clients, then we, sh we will not attend the receipt of, like last year we did 110 billion, that figure will be down by about 60 billion. Uh, there, there are certain areas of Vision 2030 that uh, we might as well forget as a country. Uh, the, the remissions on, on capital investment, for example, uh, projects like Konza City uh, won't take off. Uh, the resort cities uh, uh, that are being uh, uh, talked about, uh, you know, uh, in, in northern Kenya and at the, at the coast, they just will not take off. It's very easy to say, increase this, remove this, remove that, but at what cost? And I think it's critical that the tourism industry is involved when such decisions are being taken. We are asked, give us your recommendation. We do, nothing happens. We are not heard. So it's time, like Lucy mentioned earlier, that we get heard because we are the second largest foreign exchange earners. The drafted bill imposes VAT on agricultural produce and farm inputs as well as tourist transport, tour services and packages. Marathi Salvin, GBS.